Yeah, what up y'all and welcome back to another one got old Fred here. Oh, yeah, I've been doing some training. He has been loving life Let me tell you what he's doing amazing, but today's video isn't about Fred. It's not about duck decoys And it's darn sure not about our pigeons uh, Let's take a gander at them. What are you doing in there mamacita? Watch out girl watch out. Let me see. Okay. There's still two in there. All right, let's move over here She's gonna give you all a little update check out the babies. They're doing awesome Starting to move their heads a lot more Old proud mama look at her. So this video isn't about any of that stuff um, It's about YouTube and uh, I'm gonna have as minimal cuts in this video as possible because this video is important uh, there's a lot of you that's been asking for an update video on the demonetization of the channel You guys have been hearing it not only here me complaining about it Repeatedly it seems every week uh, But you guys have been hearing a lot of other YouTube channels having the same issues Worse, maybe not as bad as your boy is. Yes, uh, it comes and goes actually um, but uh, we have went through a spell and it's like we're, we're coming out of that spell again so I want to start off by uh, talking about last season, last year at this time. You're talking right before duck season hits. I experienced the same problems. It was um, just a lot of demonetization. Uh, the shotgun videos, you guys loved them. You know, the like the MythBuster videos. Like, remember the one like, what happens if you jam your uh, barrel in the mud and you end up shooting it? Those, those videos. Boy howdy, I was doing those this spring and it red flagged the channel pretty much in YouTube's eyes They put a big red flag on the channel a big X uh, Because long story short the worst thing that you can do to get you demonetized the quickest the fastest is to have the word G U N in your title Anywhere in your description anywhere in your tags at the bottom. That is the main thing. So uh, It really stinks because the entire channel exists Because of duck hunting and how do you duck hunt with a shotgun? So um, I'm not able to put a lot of things in videos So to just kind of spitball it uh, to get to give you an idea what I'm talking about when you upload videos as a content creator here on YouTube um, you put the title and, and then the description and then when you're uploading there's a little section down there called tags and it's basically just keywords for Google search uh, that you throw in there that represents your video just descriptional words sentences words phrases that describes best describes your video that you're uploading at that time catch my drift okay and I found that even if you leave uh, I leave all, all channels are different mine has been flagged gun related um, I haven't got an email that states just that but that's what's happened um, the reason why these videos get uh, messed with and because why guns is such a heavy subject is because there used to be videos of people modifying guns maybe modifying AR-15 triggers to be fully auto maybe uh, cutting barrels down under legal length on shotguns maybe teaching people how to made, make homemade suppressors or something but those are the videos those are all the videos that ruined it for people like myself because now you can't use the word gun you can't use shotgun I can't even if I type in the word the word <laughs> the number point four one zero for 410 shotgun even I just even if I just did 410 they would flag it so uh, basically long story short certain phrases certain words uh, sentences but keywords they're flagged and the system scans all your analytical input what you put in there and if there's something that sticks out they go Pshew! and it's not a manual thing it isn't like this Pshew! it's not somebody doing it you know it's a system that they've that they've built um, that's just pre basically pre scans everything you know what I'm saying and so a lot of times on those shotgun videos if I if I type in those bad keywords too many times 
it will be demonetized before the video even goes live, y'all. I mean, it goes live and it already has that yellow little money symbol. And that means limited to or no ads. So, it's not fun. So, now that I described kind of all of the reason why it happens, you know what I mean? I'm, now I'm going to describe why and how that affects me. Because it really does. It affects me a lot. This. So, us YouTubers upload videos to make a little bit of money. Obviously, it's our passion, video work, uh, communicating with our fan base, our viewers, growing, all those things. It's very addictive to a YouTuber, and that's our job, is to upload videos to make money to, to, to pay for the house, to pay for the bills, to feed the kids, you know what I'm saying? But when they start tampering with things, money goes out the door very quickly. You can imagine on uh, one video, let's say I upload, in the first day it's going to get maybe 10k, or even during duck se season it might get 12 or 15k in the first 24 hours. That to me is a lot of views on that video. Can you imagine on all 15,000, or some YouTubers out there that get 100 or 200k in a day or two, um, that, that means no, no, no money made, no ads during that main viewing period of the video. So what happens is you can, you can basically uh, request a manual review stating, hey, this video, y'all messed up, this video is safe, come through, manually review these things. And what usually happens is they green light them and they turn them back to monetize. But the thing that hurts the YouTuber is that you missed out on all of those ads on that first 24 hours that that video was up. You catch my drift? So, if it wasn't for Duck's Waterfowl, boom, boom. That's why I wear it all the time. I have to try to replay some of this money that YouTube is taking away because there is no way that your boy could be here today doing this full time if it wasn't for ducks. I'm always preaching to you guys and thanking you guys, telling you, look y'all, if you guys want to support the channel and help me, literally help me, bring you guys more of these videos, please go to duckswaterfowl.com and pick you up something. I say that because I mean it. It is not a lie. It is not a hoax to try to make you go buy something. It is the ultimate truth. If it wasn't for ducks, I would not absolutely 110% be able to do this at all full time. No way. So this answers the question, why does YouTubers have merch? Why does Ducks Waterfowl exist? Why does any of these other entities, these companies uh, created by YouTubers, why do they exist? That's why. Because there's no way that YouTubers in general, unless you're just huge and your channel is not getting messed with, the money isn't as lucrative as a lot of y'all think, especially when you're someone like me with a hunting channel. Hunting is not uh, bass fishing. Bass fishing, it never gets messed with hardly, at all. You're not killing stuff, and you darn sure ain't using guns to catch fish, you know what I mean? So the hunting side of things gets hit extremely hard because there's guns involved. Now, I've had a lot of questions of people say, Bob, do you think it's the killing of the animals? Or do you think it's more the guns? And I would have to say, unless you're like putting raw, nasty, blood spewing footage of the inside of carcasses or something just nasty, I don't believe it's the killing. I really don't. I think it's all about the guns. And it's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate because the way this has went, the way that this has cascaded, gentlemen, ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, it's never going to go back in reverse. All these things that are in place, they've been in place for years now. And, and they keep restricting and getting tighter and tighter and tighter. They're never going to go back to how it used to be. Just leisurely, you can do whatever you want on YouTube. Not at all. So, that answers the question, y'all. Uh, a lot of you have asked, Bobby, why do you have pigeons? And... One of the reasons why I have pigeons is uh, in this loft right here is, for one, I've always wanted one. For one, I've always wanted a pigeon loft. Uh, one of my old buddies had one, and uh, I loved it. I was like, that's cool. That's way better than having chickens or something. Although we might get chickens because I'd like some eggs every now and then. There was an added pressure, you know what I mean, to start the pigeon videos because they don't get messed with. YouTube doesn't mind them. 
YouTube doesn't look at them as harmful. There's no weapons, guns, there's no anything in them. Now the pigeon hunting videos, that's a different story. They get messed with and tampered with a lot. A lot of times they get messed with. But the pigeon loft videos, the trapping on top of rooftops like we've been doing, the trapping at the truck stop, all that stuff, it's safe in YouTube's eyes. And they don't have to look at it. They don't have to demonetize it. Just like the Fred training videos. Sit. Good boy. Just like the Fred videos though. YouTube doesn't mind them. YouTube doesn't mind old Frederick. They say, hey, we know he's safe. He ain't a gun. He ain't out here to harm nobody, right? But again, it's just an example. YouTube doesn't mind dogs. They love dogs compared to guns. So, uh, yes, it's very unfair. A lot of you, uh, I can tell you right now, you're going to drop a comment down below, and uh, I'm going to answer uh, a lot of these statements and questions before you even ask them. Uh, one of the statements uh, uh, that surrounds this demonetization problem is people go, Hey, Bobby, why don't you guys all in the hunting and outdoor industry, all you YouTubers, all you Instagrammers that are having trouble, why don't you all just clan up and make your own? Make your own YouTube. Guys, come on now. Like, that is like a, a billionaire would have trouble doing that. Google owns YouTube. Let's repeat that. Google, Google the world. Google owns YouTube. So all of those analytics, right? The reason why Bobby exists is because of Google, not YouTube. I placed all my videos into Google and that's how a lot of you found me was because of Google. Google runs YouTube. I pop up on your suggested because of Google. So it's not YouTube having to, uh, it, it definitely, hear me out real quick. I am not talking any smack, nothing bad about YouTube. They're doing their job. Google, I'm not talking any smack, they're doing their job. When Wall Street and a lot of the big media, yeah, starts jumping down Google's throat saying, hey, all these gun videos are wrong. Hey, Kids are watching uh, bad gun videos and here's all these ads on them of all these different companies. Google, you need to do something about it. Basically, I'm just kind of putting it in a nutshell for you guys. Probably the problem at hand. It's not probably. It is a problem at hand. Google has to make adjustments. They ha when, basically, when, when Wall Street or anybody says jump, they say how high. And that's why things change. And that's why uh, videos start getting demonetized. Because... Can you imagine uh, if, if YouTube had a team that actually had to manually watch the video and then justify if it was safe or not? It's, that's why it's an automated thing. Because there's too many YouTube channels. There's too many videos uploaded daily, daily for them to manually control. That's why automation has been put in place. If you think about it, there's literally over three, four, five million YouTube accounts. Yeah, insane. So it was the easiest way they could do it. You know what I mean? And I don't blame them. I feel like I've, <laughs> I feel like I have been just blabbing. I, I had a lot of information built up that I wanted to get across to you guys because you guys keep asking the same questions. And it's not your fault, you just don't know. You guys are curious and I appreciate it because you guys are always here to support me and I appreciate it and I thank you guys so much. But there's going to be a reason why come this season why you're not going to see a lot of those keywords in my titles any longer like I used to use uh, the phrase shooting greenheads or shooting mallards or shooting pigeons. I can't use the word shot, shooting, shoot, uh, Ammo, ammunition, bullet, pistol, shotgun, rifle, gun, anything like that, I cannot use. So, just know, if the title is a little funky, or you're like, man, that doesn't seem as exciting as they usually do when you read the title, just know, it's the same bad you-know-what videos, click on it, watch it, because I can't type in a lot of the old stuff that I used to trying to go through the cracks and trying to find a way around the BS of demonetization. But at the end of the day, if it wasn't for y'all, I would not even exist. I would not be here. 
I enjoy my life so much because you guys have made it happen. Without subscribers, without viewers, without you all, I could not be here day in, day out talking to y'all, holding this camera in front of my face, being home with my kids, being home with my wife, starting new crazy hobbies like this, training my dog. Look at him, he's doing great if it wasn't for you guys. So my heart seriously loves each and every one of you. Uh, you guys have provided this dream that I have. Thank you, thank you so much indeed. But I know I babbled a bunch, I wanted, to, I wanted to make this video. I've been wanting to do an update video. It's probably been over six months since I've done one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I answered a lot of your questions that you guys have had. So, bear with me through the season, y'all. We're going to be coming to y'all with daily, if not almost daily, uploads. So be expecting some yummy, saucy duck hunting content to come. I will be in North Dakota when you guys are watching this video, probably. But make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you guys have any comments, any questions that I didn't answer in this video, drop them down below in the comment section. I will answer each and every one of them, I promise. But if you guys want to support the channel, like I said earlier, go on over to duckswaterfowl.com. I will link these products down in the description below. I appreciate it so much for your guys' help. But until next time, we'll see you on the next one, y'all. Peace.